Hi, my name is Stacey Taylor. I'm 25 years old. I work in the film and TV industry, freelance for myself, um, as well as I'm a full time mum. I have a five year old boy who's just started school and a two and a half month old baby boy. Our mornings can be pretty good as long as we're organised and get up at the right time and not running late. Um, as long as I multitask, I'm okay. Make sure that I'm ready before I start doing one else. Do bottles, breakfast, and the lunch all at the same time. Get in the car at the right time, and then it's not a stressful morning. Do you want to come and help me put the things into the box? What box? The lunch box, like you usually do? Yep. Okay, so wait there. Um, what's the last thing we should put in here? We have to be gone by 8 o'clock in the morning so we can... Oh, 20 past 8 in the morning so we can be in town for my son's school on Richmond Road by 9. Financial support for solo parents in New Zealand is alright. I know that it could be better compared to Australia. Um, but just with like food prices and rent going up, I suppose that's what makes it harder. Um, we could use with a bit more initiative of studying um, just trying to do training to get out there to do jobs, to get jobs because I mean as soon as you start working they start taking money off you. There's been situations where I've only been making an extra forty dollars in my pocket when I'm working a full time job. No, I'd rather stay at my, stay at home with my child for forty dollars. Okay, so the last word is quick quick crab. Hey I had no crab, yeah? In the Maori alphabet so you might find it about her. If it's an if. Oh, if. So, if makes the sound of f. So, yep, that's the first letter for fish. And I think a transition between being a stay at home mum trying to get a job needs to be way more support because it's all very well to say get off the benefit. But what if this mum hasn't been at work for four or five years? No one wants to hire her, nor does she have the confidence. So, I think that's where it's lacking. Not only in the. Mm, preparing you mentally for having a baby because if you have a good midwife then that should be done but it's also the mental support of coming out of being a stay at home mum full time into work needs more support mentally. very sleepless. Um, ever since I was in my third trimester I haven't had a full night's sleep. I've uh, been waking up every three hours obviously since I've had my baby and I can't share that load with anyone else so once again be prepared, have the bottle sterilised, made in the fridge but that's not going to stop still getting up. <laughs> now I've got to make baby a bottle. Oh no, I've made one. Sorry. <laughs> I'll bring you a drink and a drink bottle. Yeah, I think a lot of people are naive when it comes to having babies um, and being on your own because, I mean, it is very stressful, it is very hard. You have to say no to a lot of things for your children first all of a sudden. I mean, the proof is we have a lot of young people going and having babies and not even bothering to put the father's name on the birth certificate. The hardest part of being a single parent, I'd say, would be um, 
having a not having a companion to bounce off on when it comes to parenting um, and not only making like the disciplinary decisions but also um, just being able to give the baby the bottle or be the one that takes um, my father onto the park not always me and obviously the other sex whether you're a solo mum you need the father whether you're a solo dad you need the mother um, it's important for a child to have both the forces in their life I believe I was possibly a little bit naive um, I kind of watch some people be single moms from the outside but it's not until you have your own child do you realize the work involved in being a parent um, and being a parent by yourself so if I came across a single parent thinking about having a child or you yeah, already pregnant whatever I mean my biggest thing would be have you got the support? Have you got the partner's backing for having this child? Um, because the best way you can bring a baby into this world is with both parents. And there's one more letter missing. Crap. What's that? And A. No. We must stop A all starts from the baby in the womb. It doesn't start when baby's born, it starts from when baby's in the womb. You need to be well loved and, and healthy and happy to be able to grow a happy healthy baby. And yeah, do it for all the right reasons. Don't do it for money. Don't do it to fill a lonely hole inside your heart or anything. Um, do it because you're ready. But then again, there never is the right time. So, I mean, even if it's a whoopsie, it's still the greatest thing you've ever done. But just make sure you've got the support. Yeah.